I am the Macho Man, Gobi Savage, and I'm here to talk to you about the Gobies. Oh yeah! The Gobies are cryptopentic reef fishes. That means they're small, they're hiding, they're at the flow of the ocean. They are one of the most species rich families of reef fishes with about 2,000 species and they're really difficult to film because they're hiding, they're skittish and they're small like you with your small asses on your couch. So let's look at some goobies now. Oh yeah! I always wanted to be a pro wrestler and for some reason I became a biologist which is great fun too of course. So. As a biologist, I'm looking at gobies, and this is a small goby of the species Pleurocytia micheli, and maybe you can guess what the background is where it's sitting on. I mean, this really looks psychedelic, like a wallpaper from the 1960s, and that's what it actually is. It's a giant clam. Tritagna gigas, these move. This is not a stable home. This is a giant invertebrate. It's the largest clam, and uh, there are gobies living inside the mantle of these clams. And uh, this individual I filmed in Darwin, in Negros Island, and amazing, you know, there's this gigantic filter feeding and solar energy harvesting bivalve and there are their little vertebrate animals in there. Uh, what a pretty goby and what a pretty background. So I was excited to see these. My dive buddy was laughing at me that I wasn't actually filming the, the cam which is rather rare. Now this is what I call the king of shrimp gobies. This is Ambu Eleotris Randali, Randall Shrimp Gobi, named after the famous late John Randall, one of the pioneers of looking at fish on scuba. Now, this is in a crevice at about 20 meters in Upper Island. I am releasing a book with Asian Geographic. Uh, it should come out in February or March 2022, check it out. This is going to be an interesting book for all things gobies. Back to Randall Shrimp Goby. These live in these crevices and they constantly tweak their, you know, erect and fold their dorsal fins. I believe this is a social signal which is meant for other gobies. So, you know, what, what a like a pheasant, you know, this gigantic, in contrast to the uh, size of the goby distorsal fin. Now here we have two sand gobies, or they're sometimes called sleeper gobies, Valenciana puellaris. Interestingly, they almost always live in pairs. So it's the monogamy in gobies. It seems like it. And what they do, they forage through the sand then very often they take a mouthful of sand, look what's in there. Interestingly, they build their own burrows. So in contrast to shrimp gobies, these gobies dig their own holes where they live and then they would spend considerable time, you know, excavating these burrows. And uh, very interesting that there's always one goby on watchman duty, almost like the shrimp in the case of the shrimp gobies and uh, now they're alternating their digging duty and they don't always stick with that burrow they go on excursions a uh, couple meters away from that burrow and then they return to it very beautiful species look at these orange dots all over and then these metallic blue dots on the faces of these gobies this is why I love these small fishes so much, because there's so much interesting fish biology condensed in that single fish family, and they are pretty. They are pretty fishes. This is a very small goby of the genus Eviota, and there's another goby belonging to Eviota. These are among the smallest vertebrates in existence. This fish is only about a centimeter long, very, Interesting goby. I'm very stoked about this footage. This is a whip coral goby, Brianinox, Ninops, 
Yonge and it sits on a whip coral. So this elongated, uh, you know, wire-like thing here is a soft coral, basically. Once this scoby settles as a larva, it will never leave its host. It's uh, matched to the host in terms of the color and the patterning. If you don't have a video light and if you don't really know where to look for, it's very hard to find these. Uh, so these are fish which spend their whole life on a single colony of corals. Amazing things to see underwater. I hope you enjoyed this, including the little wrestling illusion. Love the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and uh, see you soon.